Okay, if you're going to be one of my um, clients that are u using SEO, the first thing to know is you're going to be having a list that I've given you. Um, it's a list of keywords. So this is just an example of a list of keywords. Uh, here's the keyword. Don't worry about any of this for, this, for the purpose of the video. So you're going to have this list. The main thing to know is that whenever you create a page on a website, when you're dealing with SEO, is that every page is um, designed to be optimized for only one word. So a good rule of thumb is you want to choose the best words for your website, uh, have a nice mix of keywords. This is not the entire list, but it would be nice. It, it's really helpful to have one page per keyword. So in this particular case, um, let's just choose something like acne adult care. So I'm just letting you know that's the keyword we're going to be using. Then from that, we're going to go ahead and create a new blog post. So here we have a new blog post. The first thing you want to know is uh, just that this whole blog post is going to be created and optimized for that one word. The first step that I take is I type that keyword in here. Acne adult care. <clears throat> so I type it like this. So I'm taking care of the, the headline. Then I'll finish this headline to make it more appealing. So I'll turn it into an actual headline, Acne Adult Care. So I just put the keyword there because that's what's going to help the search engines know what this is about. Next thing I'm going to say, I'm going to complete this and I'm going to say something like um, the truth behind <clears throat> adult acne care. So that looks like a nice headline. I'll put quotations around it because the quotations are going to show up in the actual blog post. The next, So that's done. The next thing to do is in this section here, you click on edit and I'm going to get the keyword. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to click OK. Then that's done. You don't have to worry about that. The next thing you do is you get your blog post. Now you can type it in here as you type words. <clears throat> you can see that, uh, well, there's a word count here. Let me just publish this. Just waiting for it to publish. <clears throat> so as you, as you type words, there's a word counter. That is helpful for you as you're typing. Uh, it doesn't update right away, so I guess every time you update it, it'll count the words. I don't type in here. I type in a Word document, and then I pick, copy and paste it into the body. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to copy and paste an article or a blog post from another blog post. So I'm going to pause this now, and then I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it in here. So when we come back, it's going to be in there. All right, so what I'm doing now is I copied uh, the content from another blog post, and I'm just pasting it in here. I'm just doing this for the sake of demonstration. So let's say, hypothetically, this is what um, this is what I've, I've written myself. Uh, you definitely do not want to copy uh, any content. Um, you don't want to have duplicate con content out there. So let's say I, I wrote this. So that would be the next step, is I'll, I'll copy and paste my content in here. I don't worry about formatting just yet because I want to do some other things first. The next step is I scroll down and I go to a, this section here where it says SEO details and additional style. If you're one of my clients, I, I would have insisted that your blog or your WordPress site has something like this. If not, uh, I mean, basically if you're my client, you would have this. What you do here, this is a trick I use, is I get the headline and I just copy everything in between the quotations and I paste it in here. This is a this custom title tag is the most important element that the search engines look for to tell what your 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 page is about or your blog post is about. Try to keep it within the limit and here it tells you what the limit is so that's going to be very easy to do. The next step I do is I copy this and I paste it in here in the meta description because you the description 
is going to want to have the the keyword right in the beginning or within the first um, I don't know how many characters but it's it, it should be somewhere in the beginning so to make life easier I just put it right there <clears throat> and then I get the first sentence of my content just to make life easier I do that and then I paste it here so I'm gonna go ahead and backspace this and make it look a little bit more official <clears throat> So here, uh, I have the meta description. What the description is, is if I go to a search engine like Google and I go to search results, the description underneath your search result listing, this text here, that's the description. If you don't specify what's in there, the search engine will simply choose the first 150 characters of your content. <clears throat> um, so it would be good to choose it, that way you're you're in control of what you say. So it's nice to put content here that entices a person to want to to, to click on your link. That's one of the tricks is that if, if, if someone goes to the search results and clicks on yours above other people, the search engines track that. So it's good to have a description or at least a first sentence of your entire blog post giving the biggest benefit of what this blog post is going to offer. I think that's a very safe bet. It's a, it's a nice formula. And so if you write it into the content already, you just copy that first sentence. And when you paste it here, you've got everything covered. You just repurpose everything. Now the next thing here is to enter the meta keywords. So here I'm going to copy the main keyword. Okay. Now the search engines will find it unnatural if you're only opt trying to opt putting one keyword in there. You don't have to have a lot, maybe between three to five. You don't need more than five. It's really uh, the more keywords you try to optimize for, uh, the, the more it, it doesn't seem like you're focused. But at the same time, if you're hyper focused and you put lots of different versions of the keyword or you keep repeating the same words over and over again, that's going to be considered over optimizing. The search engines are simply trying to look for what's most natural and non-manipulative. So adult acne care, we can just write adult acne, um, treating acne for adults. Okay, let's just hypothetically pretend that these are keywords that we, we got from our list here. The thing I showed you in the beginning. So, you know, I can copy this. It's another thing we can do and paste it in here. So here we have one, two, three, four keywords. That's fine. And uh, this you're going to leave alone. When you scroll all the way down, it would be good to have comments. The more engagement you have on your blog post, the better. And for allowing trackbacks and bingbacks, it's totally fine. It really doesn't matter much whether you click that or not. So just leave that alone. So that's the first step here. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and I'm going to start the next video.